Molly McIntyre, and you're listening to Radio MLLY, broadcasting live from Jefferson, Illinois. I'm here with my friend Emily Bennett. Hello, America. As you can probably tell, Emily is from England. What part of England do you come from, Emily? London. So how did you end up over here? My parents didn't think it was safe for me to stay in London, so they sent me to America until the war is over. I was supposed to stay with my aunt, but she is sick. So now I am staying at the McIntyres. Hey, that's where I live, too. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like back in England before, you know, everything happened? It was lovely. My family and I used to go to Hyde Park. That's a huge park right in London. And have picnics and feed the swans. Or go to Westminster Abbey. Or see a live show at Piccadilly Circus. Hmm, there were so many things to do in town. Or we might take a drive in the country and have cream teas in a village somewhere. What's a cream tea? It's really yummy. A sort of sweet scone or roll. And you put strawberry jam on it and then clotted cream. Uh, clotted? That's really thick cream that you spread with a knife. It's delicious, really it is. Then you squish the scone shut and eat it with lots of hot tea. Mmm, I wish I had some right now. Stop, you're making me hungry. Tell us more about England. Let's see. Well, Kew Gardens has the most beautiful flowers that I've ever seen. My family and I used to go there every spring. Now, because of the war, many of the lawns have been dug up so that vegetables could be planted. Like a victory garden? Precisely. Have you ever been inside Buckingham Palace? Not inside, but I've seen the outside of it, and it's very grand. Sometimes I like to imagine what it's like to live there. Well, even if you never live at Buckingham Palace, I just know that you'll be back in merry old England with your parents soon enough. That's all for our show today. Stay tuned for more interviews with Emily Bennett.